Hello, my little beanies, my fellow prefects. It is I, Little Bean. And this is Koa Mio here. And today we are bringing you October 2023's edition of the NRC Times. We sure got a lot to uh, go over today. Some new things, some reruns of things. But either way, uh, it's going to be another really fun month in the world of Twisted Wonderland. Isn't that right? Yeah, for both the English and Japanese size. So we start off with JP first. So, As usual. Yep. And right now, I know you can see a little preview there what's going to happen. But before we get there, uh, currently we are in the beginning of October and the Glorious Masquerade rerun event has already started prior. So that's mm. going on. You can get your chance to roll on the, for the three different SSR banners there. But of course, there's a special banner that's that came with the rerun. If you haven't already seen, it is uh, Rolo's SSR banner as well. Indeed. And if uh, you're not sure about the Glorious Masquerade, do not worry because uh, it may come up on the English side when we talk about what's happening in the month of October on the English server. So uh, don't worry, we'll go into further details there. But uh, as we sort of continue down uh, down the way here, um, mid-October comes around and we have our first birthday boy of the month and that is Jack. Jack Howell, happy birthday. <laughs> yeah, Jack's birthday is on October 11th. Oh, such a good boy. So he's gonna be getting his, uh, his birthday bash uh, his birthday banner. So if you are a Jack stand, this is your time to pull for him. Though I kind of feel bad for him since basically anybody who gets an October birthday kind of sucks because there's always like Halloween events going on. There's always like a ton of event banners going on. So they kind of get put to the side yeah, a little bit. Yeah, that's bad true. Them. I feel like the, the fall gauntlet, it, like the fall winter gauntlet is always the worst because it's like yeah. they always put Halloween and then Halloween usually has like three SSR banners like back to back. And if that didn't already destroy you, then, you know, there's always stuff in November and December following. Yeah, but honestly, though, like Jack is such a good boy. You deserve to at least Maybe throw a couple keys his way, you know, like just just to just to say that you're still thinking about him, you still care about him. Yeah, he's gonna get his uh, platinum jacket one. I'm kind of curious on seeing what sort of I guess pictures we're gonna get on the background for him. Yeah, for sure. And speaking of the platinum jacket, as we go down further, we are getting a special uh, campaign for Disney's 100th anniversary. Uh, called the Platinum Campaign. So, woo, that's going to be interesting. We'll see what that's all about. We don't know too much about the campaign itself, but what we do know is that with this Platinum Campaign, we will be getting an SSR Grim card. That'll be interesting. I think it's the see? first SSR Grim card because he's got it is. SR cards. Yeah, so he gets a nice, uh, we can go to the very top here again. You can see he gets his own SSR there. He looks very cute in that little. Yeah. He does look jacket very cute of his. with his own little tuxedo. Very cute. I think it's kind of interesting that he's po he's pictured alongside Mickey in his SSR. So it'd be interesting to see what the uh, groovy art will look like for that. Yeah, I'm kind of interested to see that as well. But it's the so this campaign, the Disney 100, is to celebrate Disney's uh one one hundredth anniversary. So they got that special yeah. one going on. Yeah, for sure. But we are not done yet because even with the Disney 100 Platinum Anniversary going into the end of October, we are going to have the Halloween 2023 event. Now, we do not Oof. know much about this event. It's listed only as Halloween 2023. So there aren't really a lot of details about it. Sounds like there's going to be um, more details released. Uh, when they do a live stream about it via mm -hmm. a Bema, which is, I believe, a Japanese-only um, service or channel. So, unfortunately, here in the English world, we will not be able to have privy to that unless some very kind soul wants to translate the Abema uh, <laughs> video with us and post it on YouTube somewhere, but uh, it's usually very hard to do that. So I suppose we'll just have to keep our... Fingers crossed and our eyes open for anything that gets posted via social media. 
yeah, that's basically how I'm gonna see all the news first. It'll be because the Bema streams uh, usually happened while I'm asleep, I think. So usually when I wake up, yeah. I'm like, what happened during the Bema stream? Yeah. And then they usually reveal all the Halloween details. They usually have the voice actors. And then, um, because the only thing we know is that they're gonna release, or not release, but they're gonna introduce a new character for the event. And, yeah, and so I guess there are really fine details. Yeah. yeah, I'm really excited to see who it's gonna be or what it's gonna be. We had some vague hints. We've had we've seen like a silhouette of a character, but um, that's basically all we know so far. So with this event, it'll be sort of more deal more details to come as we go. So please uh, keep your eyes open for that, and maybe Koachan will will post a video going over the information from the Abema stream once it comes out. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, I'm like so curious because it's like, oh, you know, if Halloween's always twist as big as event, right? So it's like, oh, who's gonna yep. be the SSRs? What's the theme for this year? We're super excited. Yeah, and considering that, like, we didn't get like a glorious masquerade part two where the other half of the cast got their glorious masquerade outfits. So I'm interested to see what kind of event this is gonna be. What kind of costumes are they gonna get? Yeah, the costumes are always great. So it's like, yeah. Looking forward to that. I think the Bayma stream usually happens kind of mid month. So we'll find out yep. halfway through the month how that's going to go. Exactly. But uh, just to round off the month here, our last little bit is we have our final birthday boy of the month, and that is Trey Clover. Happy birthday to Hearts of Buell's best big bro ever. <laughs> uh, number one twist husbando. <laughs> yeah, he, he has ranked number one in the ultimate twist husband of tier list. We have already established he is the winner yep. of that. <laughs> or one of the winners, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but he's got the less baggage, so I think by default he yeah, wins. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> if we were to take the S tier and tier it more, yes, he would win number one. Yep, so I'd say he's number one husbando. And that's purely objectively speaking. Yeah, it's our, our personal opinions, just saying. <laughs> so yes, if you would like this number one twist husbando uh, added to your collection, be sure to roll for his birthday. So he'll be getting his platinum jacket on the JP server, and I believe his uh, union jacket on the English server. So lots of jackets, basically. <laughs> <laughs> As always with the birthdays, right? <laughs> yep. But we are not done here. That was only the JP side. We still have another server to go over, don't we, Koachan? Yes, we do. All right. So we're going to hop over to the English uh, side of things now. So see you in a moment. Okay, now we are back on the English side. What's coming October? You can see from the previews, we've got a lot of SSRs lined up already. Oh my goodness. You know what? Honestly, <laughs> I've, I've, had, I've had people in my comment section for months telling me about how they're saving for Glorious Masquerade, they're saving for Glorious Masquerade. Oh, you know yeah. You, you guys all knew this was going to happen, okay? You all knew it was coming, and to be fair, we kind of knew it was coming too, but here it mm. is, finally, the English release of the Glorious Masquerade event on the English server. As you can see, uh, we would talk about the SSRs, but there's actually somebody who's kind of snuck up on us here and... Put himself in the the first slot here to be the first banner of October. Yep, coming early October, we have Rook's uh, lab coat limited time showcase. So we finished off with the basketball club, and um, I guess we, now we are at the science club. Uh, yeah. So here he I is. Just... <laughs> yep, SSR science club Rook. I still have flashbacks of trying to pull for basketball SSR Floyd, and it's it's. <laughs> traumatizing me uh, I think I had a it took I think I struggled a bit with um, SSR Rook's uh, club card I think on JP side so we'll see what will happen on the English side of things but uh, of course with the all the club wear you get the you know special furniture that cl that comes mm -hmm. along with this if you care about such things <laughs> <laughs> you can deck, deck out your guest room with all the cool size club furniture Hey, who doesn't want more furniture? And of course, now after Rook's SSR there, we have the, I guess, most anticipated event of the year, I would say. But let's, I mean, let's be honest. This is the only thing that people are here for. <laughs> this is what people are yeah. here for. And that is, you guys guessed it, the Glorious Masquerade. Let the Bell of Solace ring. Interesting. And along Tagline. with this wonderful event, this really extensive event i remember there was a there was a pretty big story 
like just oh, in yeah. length, lengthwise. It was pretty big. So along with this rather lengthy event, we of course get not one, but three SSR banners. Yep, and so uh, it is. So I just want to mention first because the Glorious Masquerade let the bell of solace ring because I think in Japanese the tagline was something like the bell of salvation. Um, so they the kind of yeah. It was the crimson flower and the bell of salvation. Yes, so they kind of changed the tagline a bit, and I just noticed that they're um, for Night Raven. So this time the students are going to a school event at Noble Bell College. That's the same, mm -hmm. but they now renamed it as a Fleur City, which I guess makes sense. City of Flowers, Fleur City. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah, with the sounds of bell ring. But here, let's just scroll up and take a look at these SSRs. I Man, think this is what a pack. Oh what my a God. packed lineup. I mean, just I looking mean, at you it. In <sighs> you in particular, Koi-chan, are going to get slayed this month, so uh, GG on that. It's too soon. I always get mm. destroyed as soon as October. Yeah. From October to December is like the worst gacha months for me. And yeah. of course, they had to put SSR Signs Brook here. And yeah. right after that, they're going to have like SSR like... Azul for Glorious Masquerade and then Adia. So yeah, mm -hmm. I'm getting I'm just getting destroyed this I <laughs> entire mean, month. Listen, I just I just went through two months of absolute hell, so I guess it's your turn. My turn <laughs> now, because uh, guess yep. what? Yeah, October is Glorious Masquerade and next month we start getting to the birthdays of my boys and I'm like god Yep, I you know, between like Leona and then Riddle and then Jamil and then Ace and then plus we had like they snuck in the the rerun for uh, the Yasmin Silk event there with SSR. Oh, I mean, I yeah. got, I got absolutely destroyed. Okay, my, I'm, <laughs> I feel like I need a break, and this could be a break if not for the SSR Malias there. But at the same time, yeah. come on, guys, you know I have to at least try for SSR Azul and SSR Edia. I mean, yeah, the, the Halloween events are the events to be pulling on in Twist. I think is I want to roll on SSR like Malleus is like Masquerade Malleus's banner, but I swear it, like last time I like said the same thing, got absolutely destroyed in the previous SSRs, and then I guess the same is gonna happen here. So we're gonna find out if hey, I can even get keep, to that. We gotta keep the hope up, okay? Maybe, maybe, maybe. this will be our time, and they'll <laughs> they'll give us a break. Although I really hope that it's SSR Malleus that gives me a break and not. You know who, because you guys already know on this channel, we have a certain problem with, you know, a certain octopus uh, merman. Okay, this, there's a problem. He won't leave me alone. Oh, they, <laughs> at least that's one character you know you don't have to struggle with getting. Yeah. I mean, like, there's a part of me that, like, draw, wants to pull for him just because he's there and why not? But at the same time, I don't want to waste all my gems on him. So he might get, like, one temple and then I'll focus fire on SSR Malleus. Yeah, at least the is at the end, so you can you can hold out on rolling the others. You can get yeah, to them. but you got it's it's so hard. It's so hard when you know they're right there. Yeah, they're there. It's like, oh, do I do a poll? Yeah, it's it's always difficult. Yep. yep. But we're not even done. That's that that's just one thing going on this month. I mean, it's mm -hmm. the main thing going on this month, but it's not the only thing going on this month. Yeah, because of so, course. So, uh, coming in mid October, we. Continue with the birthday boys. Jack is going to be getting his birthday bash. Happy birthday, Jack. Please pull for NRC's cutest Tsundere. <laughs> <laughs> yep, of course. So you get uh, double, I guess, yeah, Jack banners with JP side and English side. As always yep. with the birthdays. Of course. Might throw a couple keys his way just because, just because I like him so much. Yep, and what's interesting is we saw Disney's 100 Platinum card on the JP side. I think this is the first time we actually get the exact same banner on the English side. So Yeah, they're, they're actually doing a concurrent event. Which, like the same yeah. event at the same time. It, they must be, it must be because it's Disney, you know? It's it's Disney's 100th, right? So it doesn't make sense yeah. for them to do it next year. So I guess they, this, yeah, this is the first time they actually got a JP and an English one on the same same banner, same so name. you can yeah. you have a choice. You want to pull for SSR Grim on the JP server or English? I mean, you can do it. I mean, inevitably there will be some people who are like Grim is my boy and I want to pull for him, but I don't think that's what brought you here to the dance this month, guys. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that most of you are going to be saving your gems for the uh, the masquerade cards, but 
There's always one person in the comments who's going to say, no, I'm saving all my gems for the Platinum Jacket Grimm. Okay. Yeah. I fine. mean, hey, if none of your boys are in the Glorious Masquerade, hey, like, you can get an SSR go for Grimm. It. Like, yeah. Seriously, go for it. Yeah, why not? There, it's a nice card. It is a very special card, so. Yeah, it's pretty cute. Time to go for it. Yeah. But again, we are not even done because coming in uh, you know. late October, just to kind of round off the month, we have uh, Trey's birthday bash as well to match the JP side where you can go here in the English side, at least for his uh, Union Jacket birthday. So if you want to add Hearts of Buell's Big Brother and Twist number one Husbando to uh, your list, pull for him, I suppose, especially if you're a Trey stan. It just got it. I feel so bad for Trey. <laughs> <laughs> Why? It's like he's I the... really do. You don't think he, he gets, gets enough love? Yeah. Well, it's not, it's not, it's his birthday always comes right when they're, right uh, in the middle yeah, of, of the, everything. like, Twist Halloween events. So <laughs> everyone's saving for the event SSR banners, and Trey's birthday just gets no love. It's like, it's, it just gets put in the middle of it. I think, like, anyone, yeah, that gets in October, it's just like, there's so much going on. <laughs> and, by the way, you guys know... And especially you Octavianel stands out there. I'm talking to at least one of you personally right now. You know it's mm. like a thing. They do these Halloween events, and then the month right after, you got the Tweel's birthday. Isn't it? Every <laughs> single time, I swear to God, I've so for any, for all of like the coworkers who follow me on my channel, have like watched me my videos and me complaining. Basically, it's yeah, it's like. Halloween destroys me in October, then it's the Tweel's birthday, and you know, they both have the same birthday because they're twins, so that's double the banners, and then in November, it's also like Rook's birthday, and then yep. December is like Idia's birthday, so then, but then yep. Rook in the English side, you now we got a club where Rook's, I'm like, Rook, mm -hmm. what are you doing here? You know, and so then, yeah, it's just a bunch of back-to-back -back banners. I was like, ooh, yep. yeah. Well, and ironically, I have the opposite problem. If you guys are a uh... A little beanie a fellow prefect over on my channel you guys know i always get absolutely destroyed at the end of every summer between like leona and then riddle in august and then jamil and ace in september there's usually for some reason there's usually an event that they put right at that time there i also want to pull this year it was the yasmina silk with ssrville so then by the time that the you know halloween event actually comes around where they have like the triple SSR banner, it's like, oh crap, I don't have any gems <laughs> left because I already used them. Oh, it's always a gem count. I'm always like, it's, you know, I'm like kind of talking ahead there, but uh, Twill's banner always scares me because like my struggle with Jade's birthday banner, it has been consistent on both servers for like three years. And I'm like, here that. we go again. <laughs> yeah. Er, yep. You know what's really funny? I've actually struggled before with Jade because. I I don't know. I can't even remember what banner it was on, to be honest with you. I just remember, like, this this, this innate feeling of, like, struggle and despair surrounding Jade. Then again, I suppose that's the normal reaction. <laughs> that, that's, that's, Jade, just, so. that's just Jade. That's, that seems like that's an ordinary, ordinary yeah. day for him. Yeah. Maybe I'm just getting the, the you know, secondhand trauma there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the next month anyway. problem. We still got yep. these banners to deal with this month in October. Oh my god, so yeah. many. And so, yeah, let us know in the comments which one are you saving up all your gems for. I know you guys are all going to say Glorious Masquerade, but which one? There's three of them. So let us know in the comments what banner this month you are saving for the most. I'm going to go ahead and say that the one I'm saving for the most is probably going to be, at least in the English server, SSR Malia's. I won't know in the JP side until we get more information about what the new Halloween event is yeah. going to look like on the JP side. I know no matter so what, I, I'm probably still going to end up rolling on it, even though oh, I'm... I'm <laughs> forfeit all more possessions to twist, okay? Ah, uh, like, yeah. I'm always... Yeah. JP We're going to roll for been, it anyway. JP has been hitting... Like, I've been so far pretty good on JP side, but my gem count is always dancing on that borderline of just like... Yeah, where you're just... <laughs> You're just like praying to whatever deity exists out there. Yeah, it's like yep. I I feel that. Could, like good good on those who've been saving for glorious masquerade since like summer and earlier. Like 
Now's your time. Oh yeah, I've had people. I've had people saving for Glorious Masquerade for like the last past year, and I'm like, you guys, true warriors that you are. Like, oh my goodness, I can't imagine self restraint. <laughs> Coach, and I'm not going to ask you which banner you're saving for the most this year because I will not force you to choose between Azul uh, and Edia. I will, yeah. I will not hold that gun to your head. So I'm just going to assume both. <laughs> uh, yeah, honestly, I am going to have to do yeah, Rook, Azul, yeah. and Edia on this. I'm just like, ah, okay, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Well, good luck, and good luck to everyone who is polling for banners in this month because, oh boy, you're going to need it. Get those gems ready. It is an action-packed platinum masquerade for this month and i hope you will all enjoy so until next time my little beanies my fellow prefects this is little bean and this is koamio and thank you so much for watching please uh keep an eye on our channels for any updates and any uh events that are going to be coming out in the coming months we will surely be doing videos on them and i can't wait to see you guys there until next time then this is little bean signing out bye bye